Okay, <clears throat> here we got a video on uh, pages 3.7 and 3.8 for the math section of the binder. <clears throat> here we're talking about, <coughs> excuse me, ratios, proportions, and percentages. So we'll start with an easy one. So this one I consider easy. Don't worry about the number. Um, a recipe for making 10 loaves of bread requires 24 cups of flour. If the proportion is recipe to be used to make 3 loaves of bread, how many cups of flour needs? So 10 over 24. So it looks like we're doing loaves to flour would have to equal 3 over x. Because again, you have 3 loaves, but you need to know how many flours for that. So 10x equals 72. x equals 7.2. Easy. Um, let's look at 16. That one's probably, I'd consider medium. So they say a solvent distance of a car is the number of feet that the car travels after the driver starts applying the brakes. Solvent distance of a certain car is directly proportional, that's an important word you see there, to the square of the speed of the car. Solvent distance 20 miles per hour, 17 feet. What's solvent distance for 40 miles per hour? So I'm going to do 20, actually let's, uh, I'm going to say 17 over 20 squared. So this is going to be my distance, and that's going to be the speed. But remember, they said this speed has to be squared. So it's going to be 17 over 20 squared. We're dealing with proportions again, so you want a fraction, equals x over 40 squared. That's what you want to do. So you get 17 times 1,600 equals 400x. Divide both sides by 400, you get 17 times 4, because 600, 600 divided by 4 is 4, so you get 68. You can also use a calculator to work that out, but very important you see the square part. So it's like the uh, first one we just did, but there's a slight twist to it. And then this one I would probably consider a challenging, a hard one, but I think you can do it. You have an 8 gram solution of water. The ratio of water to alcohol is... Um, 3 to 1. They have a 12 gram solution where the ratio is 2 to 1. If you um, add those two solutions together, what is the fraction of alcohol in the new solution? So for the 8 gram solution, if you think about it, you're going to have 6 grams of water and 2 grams of alcohol. That's because the ratio is 3 to 1. So that's three parts to one part. That's a whole four parts. But if you have eight grams, if you think about it, you could say three x plus x equals eight. Four x equals eight. X equals two. So I multiplied each of these parts of the ratio by two to get six and two. For the twelve gram solution, we're gonna have eight grams of water and four grams of alcohol. Um, in this case, um, you know, two to one ratio. Two x plus x equals twelve. Three x equals twelve. X equals four. So you multiply each of these parts by four. So altogether, we have three ah six grams of alcohol because we're looking at alcohol here, right? So 6 grams of alcohol over 20 grams of total for the solution, so the answer is going to be 3 tenths. So for the more challenging ratio problems, you kind of want to do what I just did over here, and over here to get the exact value of each part in the, ratio, or in the solution, and then you can get uh, the final answer. And then plain geometry. A couple of problems here. So I think it's time that we start reviewing some geometry, because it might have been about two years since you've last uh, had geometry. Now, they give you the ratios for the special triangles right over here. So, if you're told that AB is 2 root 2, if you think about it, that's 2 root 2, this has to be 2, and that has to be 2, using those ratios over there. 
And then this has to be 45 degrees, so that will be 60 degrees. And they want BC, so if that is 2, and that would be 30 degrees right here, then this has to be 4, because the hypotenuse is always double the shortest leg. So the answer would be C. And then this one here. Uh, the circle shown above has center O and raised to length 5. The area of the shaded region is 20 pi. Okay, well, the area of the whole circle will be pi r squared. So we 25 pi. The area of the shaded region is 20 pi. So it means that this part has to be this part right here has to be 5 pi. Because the whole thing is 25 pi, the shade region is 20 pi, so you just have 5 pi left over. Okay. So that means 5 pi over 25 pi is 1 fifth. So the sector is 1 fifth of the whole circle. And remember, that's called a sector whenever you have a portion of a circle. That means that the angle, because the whole circle is 360 degrees, right? So you just use proportions here. You don't need any formulas, just know the proportions. That's 72 degrees. So for the triangle, I know it's not to scale. I even said so too. But that's 72 degrees, making that 18 degrees right over there. So the answer would be A for that one. Okay, so we're done with this video. We'll review this stuff when I see you again later. Goodbye.